The Slayers Kroll, 1983 Kroll was an interesting movie. It had a lot going for it. Including some actors who went on to great things. Liam Neeson and Robbie Coltrane both had bit parts, and legends in the industry. Freddie Jones and Francesca Annis had great roles. It had an endearing, if predictable and silly, storyline, but I personally felt that the big bad boss The Beast was remarkably disappointing. But his henchmen The Slayers were among the finest movie bad guys this side of the Star Wars Stormtroopers. Much like the Stormtroopers, The Slayers couldn't hit the side of a barn door at 20 paces. Equipped with single-shot lances, which then became swords, they may as well have just started with the swords, the only time they managed to hit anything was when it was a plot point. Having said that, they were robots of some description, with squid things in their heads that dug into the soil to escape when you killed the body. An interesting melding of futuristic sci-fi and medieval fantasy, similar to the movie itself. They were just so cool. I am Ergo the Magnificent. Short in stature, tall in power, Narrow a purpose and wide vision, and I do not travel with peasants and beggars. Goodbye.